Hi everyone, this is Liz living out of the norm. We are trying to establish off-grid homestay in Arizona desert and trying to build a house with this earth block. We are trying to master to make perfect block and we are still struggling. Okay, so we know we already did put a little shim to try to lower one side of the mold, but we know we need to go further because you can see right here that there's this brick, this corner is higher than that corner. And then if you look at the back corner, this corner is higher than this. So both bricks are one slope that way and one slope that way. So we need to get in there and shim it just a little bit more. I'm thinking I'm gonna use this as a shim because it seems like that looks like the right distance to me. Hopefully that'll do it, we'll see. So we used to have this guy here wedged in. Wedged in there. So we are changing into this. This is, what is it? That's a bus bar for our batteries. <laughs> This might be too high, but we'll find out. After we shimmed it, we had trouble shutting it. So I thought, well, let me loosen it and then close it and then tighten it back and see. And yeah, this plate on this side for sure was crooked or something. It was having a problem because now you can see that this is barely even touching now when it's closed. Before it was a struggle to get it. It was a struggle to get it to close that much. But now it's pretty easy to go so I'm finishing up tightening and hopefully we can adjust it the height of the blocks right hopefully this will get it to where we need it so after going back to 10% Eric feels like 15 is the right one yeah 10% cement 10% clay rich and the rest of it is our soil so we're gonna try to do it again Chico do you have something to say Life is good. We're gonna take a bath today, right? This is a little dryer. A dryer? Yeah. Is it promising or not? It should be hard. What do you think? Too dry? Possibly. Could have been the way I held it too. Sometimes when I'm flipping it, I don't flip it right. If I don't have enough compression this way, I feel like sometimes it falls in the middle. Mm -hmm. I messed up pulling the bricks off of this a couple times and it, it's for sure my fault. They're finicky when you take them off. Naomi's pretty good about taking them off by hand. I can't take them off by hand. If I use those tools, most of the time I'm good. However, sometimes when I'm putting them down, if I put them down and I put pressure on the top, I cause them to fold in. So, and it's pretty, I'm, I know I'm doing it when I do it. So I know the, I know that that was my fault, but I mean. And like, it, like I said, probably we want to have a pallet right next to it for you. She wants to have a pallet right next to me. So you don't so. have to squat down, but that's kind of changing. I can't your... reach the the back side of the pallet if it's that high. What do you mean? If you put it high, I can't put a brick in the middle of the back. Majority of the time, I'm all right. I mean, I broke two on there and I broke two on there, it looks like. So I, I'm pretty sure that was me. I just made one, two, three. That's it. I'm tired. Let's eat. The word of the day today was learning.
we uh, we messed around with the different uh, percentages of clay. We messed around with the water as well today. We started out at 20%. We tried a, a drier batch of 20% and a wetter batch of 20%. The wetter batch was a complete fail. The, the drier batch looked good. The normal batch looked good. But we thought, well, we haven't done the 10%. So then we went and we did a group of 10% with the normal amount of water. Since it's compressed more, we, tr we tried it just to see how it was. And it was okay. Naomi kind of struggled to pick it up by hand. I was able to pick it up with a tool with no issue. And then we thought, well, let's go back to 15 because we think 15 is probably the number that we're going to go with. But we also went in and we adjusted the plates um, one to close easier and two to have a flatter brick. So tomorrow we'll come back and we will go over and we will double check that those um, bricks that we adjusted that are that they're flat and that they line up like this when they're next to each other instead of like this. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow more than likely. What are your thoughts, Naomi? But overall, still blocks looks a lot cleaner than the, what we used to do a few months ago, several months ago. So it is very promising. And it's like, it's an art. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think I, Eric has been doing the water, what do you call it? Intake ratio, of ratio water. to the water yeah. to the mixer. So I would not know exactly I'm looking at it, but unless you do it yourself, you would not know. Yeah, and I've done it a lot over at a buddy of ours place that's doing uh, earth bag, which is kind of similar to what we're doing, but it stays in the form even afterward. But recognizing what the soil looks like in a cement mixer or in a concrete mixer, how much water and all of that, it, there's an art to it. I was also going to add in too that... Um, even using the tool, I messed up carrying some of the bricks because when I went to sit it down, I put my arm straight. Well, when I put my arm straight, I was bending in the bricks, right? And causing the top part to kind of compress more in the bottom part because I was pushing in on it. And eventually what happens when I do that is the brick breaks in half. So um, there's a few bricks, again, a learning process, learning the art of it, mm -hmm. you know. But definitely promising. Everything looks cool. Is having a heyday, kind of uh, you don't see him off camera. The face I made was the dog looks like he's dead laying in the middle of the desert. But, uh, yeah, we are finally going somewhere. So, yep. please keep following our journey. And we have more video talk about how many blocks we might have to make to build a house. Oh, yeah. The house that we want to make. Yep. So there's gonna be another video for that. So. We finally sat down and figured out numbers. Yeah. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Thank you. Chico. I think I got her. No, it's okay. Stay still. It's okay. I'll do CPR. <laughs> These are the ones that came out of the mold yesterday after we put uh, a thicker shim and adjusted the top plates on them. Um, right now you can see they're pretty much even here. And if we spin this brick, it's even as well. But if we spin this brick, if we spin this brick, then we notice we have a little bit no. Well. Was there a rock under it? Because that looks pretty damn good to me. <laughs> maybe. So maybe we fixed it. It wasn't. We got to make some more bricks. There's probably like a rock or something under it when you were sitting them next to each other. Because it doesn't make sense. It looks nice. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> That's keep, it, the... keep it that way. <laughs>